Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching students how to log in to AWARE online testing. This video is primarily directed towards students and any parents or guardians or any, any adults who may be helping support them through this process. These are the step-by-step -step directions that students will take to log in. First, they will log in to their launch pad. For that, you will need your regular computer login. Your username is usually your first initial of your first name and then your last name and then four digits. And then your password is your ID number. If you do not have any of this information, please contact your teacher. Then you will look for the AWARE online testing icon. It looks like this. Once you click on it, you will go to a site that has your AWARE login. It will look like this and it will say Northeast ISD on it. This login is different. First, you will type in your student ID number and then your password will be your birthday and it will follow this format. The two digit month slash two digit day slash four digit year of your birth. We'll, I'll show you some of the online supports that you may or may not have available to you. If you have any problems throughout this process, please contact your teacher. So the first thing to do is open up an internet browser and type in www.neisd.net. Once you get to the district webpage, come over here to the right and look for Launchpad. When you click on that, it will take you to your launch pad. You may or may not have to log into it. You should see an icon with your picture or with your information in the drop down menu to let you know that you're logged into your launch pad. Then you will be looking for this icon, Aware Online Testing. When you click it, it will take you to our district online testing site. Remember, you're going to be typing in your ID number and then your birthday, so it's important to have that information handy. So for example, I'm going to type in this ID number for this student and this birthday. Any one-digit months or days must be turned into a two-digit. For example, this would be 09. Once you've typed that in, click log in. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like to take a reading online test. After you've logged into the online aware testing platform, make sure you look for the correct test name. Up at the top, select a test to take, and I'm looking for this one, reading online test. Once you select it, come down to the bottom right hand corner to go to test. And then if you have already begun your test and exited at any point, it saves your progress. So down at the bottom, I can see that I've already answered question one. Of course, I can change my answer by selecting any other different type of um, passage. As with anything, remember to click and change the color theme if that helps you see it better. If you have, uh, if your teacher has turned on text-to-speech, you will see these different icons next to the questions and answer choices. You have to click every single one to get them to read each one, one at a time. Your reading passages or writing passages will not be read out loud to you. You will have to read those uh, on your own and scroll down to read the entire passage before you go to start the questions. If you click on speech op speak options, if you have this built-in feature, you can change how loud or quiet the voice is by dragging your cursor along the scale. You can slow down the speaking speed or speed it up from the normal speaking speed. You can also change the gender from male to female if that allows you to hear it better. You can zoom in and zoom out by clicking the plus sign and the minus sign to see the questions or answer choices better. You can add notes. If your teacher is asking you to write any text evidence, uh, write your notes here. You will see that it says note saved. Anything you write, your teachers will be able to see. So if you want to ask questions about this question, about this particular item, you could, you could write that here. You can delete them if you change your mind, or you can minimize them to make them uh, disappear down to the bottom. 
When you are finished answering a question, go to the next number down below. You may see this free response question. In this question, you will have to write your answer either as a simple word or a complete sentence or even a paragraph, depending on what your teacher, what, what the question is asking you. So make sure that you write all of your, of your answer here in the box. If your teacher has turned on uh, spelling assistance, if you misspell any words, they will be underlined in red. If you right click with your mouse, you will see some possible options for correct spelling, and then you can select it if that's the correct spelling, and that will change the spelling. You can click question guide to see which questions you have answered and which ones you haven't answered, and if you've flagged any to remember to, to review them. To flag, you click the flag up at the top right hand corner and then we can go to the next one. If you change an if you select an answer and you want to change it, just click another answer. You have some built-in test taking features if you want to eliminate answers as you go to think about what might be the correct answer. If you change your mind but you're not sure which was is going to be the correct answer but you don't want this one to be the correct answer, go ahead and click clear all and that will take off that answer choice. And when you switch passages, you switch stories, you will notice the two different stories up at the top. Here's this name right here. When I switch to the other passage, here is another passage. If you have a paired passage, you might have one passage here and then another passage name here if you have questions that are linked to both and you're supposed to use both passages to answer them. You might see that feature and you can switch back and forth between them here. When you're finished, click review and submit and you will get some warnings uh, and some information about what you have and have not done. You can click to show only the ones with notes if you want to make sure that you've put all the notes on there. This check symbol means you have answered it. A flag means you flagged it for review and definitely pay attention to the unanswered questions. You can click on them and it will take you back to the uh, question that you haven't answered. You can also notice at the bottom that these two are blank and you have not answered them. So make sure you answer all questions before you submit for review. So come review and submit. When you are sure that you have answered everything to the best of your ability, please click Submit to Score. It will ask you, are you sure? It's a little final warning. You can always cancel and go back. But if you are sure that you're ready to turn it into your teacher, click OK. Your teacher may or may not have turned on this score summary. In this case, it is showing you all of the correct answers. These are my two correct answers. This is my one incorrect answer. And these three questions are ungraded. What that means is those were the free response open-ended questions where I had to type my answers and the computer cannot grade those. The teacher is going to have to review my answers and grade them before I can get my final grade on the entire assessment. But as of right now, I can click and review all my answers. Cannot make any changes, but I can look back at them. Or I could specifically click on my incorrect answers and just look at like, oops, what kind of mistake might I have done? I might seek out the teacher's help. I might ask some specific questions. I might review some class materials and the teacher may or may not let me uh, make changes later after I have sought out that extra help on these questions. So it's also good if you're trying to monitor your progress.